Schools closed. Roads glazed over with ice. And water pipes bursting across the Mid-South. Do you think it snows more now than it used to? Uh, yes. Yes, but we didn't have this much snow ever. I think this was the worst we've had long as been in probably 20, 25 years. Well, it seems that that's the sentiment here in the Mid-South. Not only are we dealing with more extreme winter weather, it also seems to be causing more problems than it used to. Well, that's absolutely right, Darcy and Daryl. And so Severe Weather Center 13 meteorologist Matt Urasovic dug into 30 years worth of weather and climate data. He analyzed snowfall, days below freezing, and below average temperatures. What was uncovered confirmed your suspicions about our weather and raised more concerns about our future. This little car didn't stand a chance, passing a winter condition sign at Poplar and Mendenhall, trying to wade its way through 10 inches of snow, as unprepared for extreme weather as most of the Mid-South. From Drone 13, Bartlett looked beautiful under a blanket of snow. Back-to-back -back snowfalls in February of 2021 dumped 10 inches on Memphis. And a cold snap lasting nine days busted water mains across the city, causing a boil water alert for every MLGW water customer. The very next winter, it wasn't snow, but storms. 18 tornadoes hit our community over two days. An EF3 leveled the Monette Manor nursing home, killing a resident inside. And in Truman, Arkansas, it was an EF2 that took down trees, homes, and businesses. The December storms killed eight people across the Mid-South. Sub-freezing temperatures set in last winter, 86 straight hours below freezing, tying a record low of just one degree and setting a record for the lowest high temperature at just 14 degrees. The freeze forced rolling blackouts just days before Christmas. Do you think it's been more extreme recently with regards to the temperatures in the winter too? I want to say so. I mean, it's been a, a long time since we've had two degrees, one degree weather, um, especially around this area, yes. And last month, 3.4 inches of snow set off a five-day cold snap keeping roads packed, kids out of school, and water pipes busted. Just look at the deluge at the UT Health Science Center. Snow, storms, and sub-freezing temperatures, all in the past four seasons. The question is, are these winter events unusual? I dug through 30 years of weather data, tallying total snowfall, days below freezing, cold snaps, and average temperature along with each winter's lowest temperature. And based on those numbers, I dug into the trends. The 30-year average in the Mid-South, just under three inches of snow. Cold snaps lasting four days on average. And the average lowest temperature each year, 10 and a half degrees. And the number of days below freezing averaged just 3.7. Over the past four years, snowfall went up to four and a half inches. Cold snaps lasted seven days on average, and the low temperatures down to five degrees. And we hit an average of five days below freezing each year. You need to be prepared for the record lows that are, that are still set in the record books. You need to be prepared to see that again. Those are still not going away yet. Dr. Dorian Burnett with the University of Memphis is a PhD specializing in historical meteorology, climatology, and extreme events. Now this graph shows the global average surface temperature for every year since 1850. That's an entire year average across the entire planet. The baseline at zero degrees represents the average temperature during that time, which is 57 degrees. You can see a definite warming trend since 1976, and every year has been above that average with last year, 2023, the hottest on record at 2.12 degrees above average. Unfortunately, global warming is not going to make January go away completely. <laughs> That's not the way it works. <laughs> um, and so we still need to be prepared for the worst 
stuff that the atmosphere could potentially do um, in the Mid-South. It seems counterintuitive that warmer temperatures would make winters worse. Now, there are two reasons. First, a warming atmosphere means more evaporation and traps more water vapor. When temperatures drop below freezing, that naturally means heavier snowfalls. But instead of spread over time, like a typical winter, it drops all at once. The other, more significant factor for the Mid-South is our geography. Warmer ocean temperatures move and weaken the jet stream. That steers storms moving across the country. In the current climate, the jet stream comes out of the Pacific, goes up into Canada, and sweeps it straight south, right over the top of us. That's how we get cold Canadian air over the Mid-South. That jet stream also moves the polar vortex, which normally locks cold air over the Arctic and allows it to move south. And that brings more extreme winter weather to the Mid-South.